Here we have a lovely 2003 Jaguar S-Type 3 litre V6 in red. Car's in nice condition for its age, as you'll see throughout the video. Starts with the offside front tyre, looking at a good 5 to 6 mil. Offside front alloy has got a few light little scratches around the outside, no real sign of any curbing or any scuff marks. Looking down the condition of the bodywork, uh, there is one or two very minor dinks, very light, so it shouldn't really be an issue. No signs really dense at all. Bit of a scuff here in the offside front quarter. Looking around the arch on the front there, looks very well, no sign of any rust. Mirror looks in good condition. Driver's door, there is one or two scratches to the paintwork, um, so a bit of polish is going to be required. It was just one or two marks as you can see. Also, it looks like it's tried to have been painted in previously, as you can see there. So again, good condition for its age. Uh, door reds looks fine with no chips at all there. As you can see, got one or two little minor dinks to the bodywork. Both the sills are in good condition. Roof appears to be okay, I can't spot any dinks or dents there. Rear passenger door again, just one or two light little scratches, nothing too serious at all there. And again, no chips at all on the door edge. Moving around towards the rear arch, you've got a bit of paint bubbling here. So that's going to require some work there. Rear tyre, we are looking at around two, two and a half mils, so not a great deal of tread there at all. And look at the rear alloy, does appear to be in good condition. A little bit of the paint is starting to come off there as you can see. So a small patch, a little bit of a scuff there as well, but again, not too bad condition really. Uh, moving towards the rear of the vehicle. You've got parking sensors. Again, a nice clean condition. Um, a couple of light scratches on the back, especially around the tailgate here, so good polish required. Also a couple of touch-ins as it's gone into the paintwork there. Again, nothing serious at all. Near side rear quarter, uh, a bit of a heavy scuff there as you can see. That's pretty much underneath the car, um, but obviously it is there. Apart from that, it just appears to be okay. Boot wise, in nice clean condition, so that's spot on. And we have got a spare wheel and all your bits and bobs underneath there. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. Tread wise, we are looking around 2mm again, so going to need changing soon. Near side rear alloy. Again, nice condition, one or two light marks around the outside, but no curving or scuff marks at all there. Looking on the near side of the vehicle, once again, just one or two minor little dinks, no dents. Rear arch appears to be okay, no chips on the rear door, and again, just some scratches to the paintwork, as you can see down the rear passenger door. Front passenger door, again, just one or two light scratches, but great condition for its age. You can clearly see it's been taken care of. Some light scratches to the mirror there. Moving around to the near side front tyre again, we're looking at around a good 5 to 6 millimetres there. Near side front alloy, you've got some marks around the outside. Again, very light, um, no curbing or scuff marks at all though. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, we've got some light scratches on the front corner there. Some couple of stone chips to the front, no sign of any damage at all to the front bumper though. And again, just some stone chips to the bonnet, etc. Apart from that, looks very nice. Take a look at the interior of the vehicle. You have the full cream leather, looks very well with the red, great condition, no sign of any damage at all, as you can see it does look very well. Back of the seats are in good condition as well, so great condition there in the back. Take a look at the driver's seat. Now there is a bit of wearing again, that's just age related, as you can see on the bolsters there, quite a bit of wearing. No signs of any damage, you've got full electric seats. Front passenger seats also in very nice condition with a slight bit of wearing. You've got the nice wooden trim and the wooden steering wheel. Very Jaguar, but nice condition overall inside. We are looking at two sets of keys and just getting the car started. Sorry about that. There we go, couldn't quite get the key in there. Car starts first time, no problems at all, that lovely 3 litre V6 engine. 80,150 miles and no symbols appearing on the dash. Multifunction steering wheel, like I said, you've got a nice wooden steering wheel there. No problems at all with any of the blowers. As you can see, it work perfectly fine. You've got your air conditioning there, light indicating there it's on and off. No problems at all with the radio either. Wolverhampton. That works perfectly fine. Automatic transmission, of course. But as you can see, the dashboard, etc., 
is very tidy. Now looking at the paperwork of the vehicle, we've got a copy of the V5 as the plate is on retention, but the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOT, which runs here July 30th, 2015. So plenty left on that. And we have our only partial history with the car. So you can see your first one there at 10, second at 21, you've got 32 there. 39 and you're over one there at 49,000 miles. You can see it is only partial history. There we go, guys. It's the very nice looking 2003 Jaguar S Type 3 litre V6. The car of Sage, it does appear to be in nice condition.